Okay? Yeah, you're such a beautiful boy. Yeah. For the last mm. 20 years, Dr. Mm. Anderson Gitari has been a practicing veterinary surgeon. His interest in animal health began at a young age. Immediately he left college, he worked in a pharmaceutical company, after which he partnered with Dr. Andrew Matole to start a private practice, the Andes Veterinary Clinic, which now has three branches, two in Nairobi, one in Nanyuki. For me, it's been more of passion. I, I love, I love what I do. Um, I love, you know, the challenges that are thrown at me. A vet surgeon's job is round the clock, as Dr. Gitari explains. There's no general routine, and one has to be prepared for any eventuality. He, however, does not mind the long hours. It's actually like 24 hours. Many times you're waking up very late at night to go to the hospital or to, to go to the rest cause. Um, so you can get home as early as 6 o'clock or as late as 9 p.m., midnight. A job that has its own challenges and rewards in equal measure. This is Seattle Spa, very nice horse. So you have many patients and also you have many uh, uh, owners. Yeah, the pet owners. Uh, so we kind of, you know, treat psychologically the, the pet owners and then treat the animals. And that characterizes the day-to-day -day life of Dr. Gitari as a vet surgeon diagnosing and treating an animal entails a lot, as he explains. Before you, you do anything, you just get a history from the owner. And the history is uh, the guy had run over this dog um, yesterday, last night, and uh, on examination there is a, a lot of pain on the right leg. So we want to do an x-ray and see if there are any broken bones. It's okay. It's okay. This is a digital pit. Once you take the x-ray, the image is captured here. Then, this is what we call a digitizer. So it processes the image, and now the image will come to the screen. The x-ray done on animals is similar to that for humans. It is after this stage that Dr. Gitari determines what procedure will be done. So this cat, we suspect that it was hit by something very hard and it came uh, limping on the left leg. When we did an x-ray, we found that the, bro the, the bones are, are, are broken or they are fractured. Right? So what we did was uh, we need to operate the cat and put plates and screws to make that bone to be back to normal. Each surgery is normally uh, you know, complicated in their own way. Uh, there are some that will really uh, take a toll on you, some they are quite, quite easy to fix. And also it depends uh, on the quality of life of the patient. Although he has many years of practice behind him, Dr. Gitari says every day is a learning experience, a fact that makes his clinic a hub for teaching the ropes of the profession. A lot of interns are coming through us and going out there. I can say we've trained quite a number of vets um, in this country uh, to be self-sufficient. Dr. Gitari envisions that the standards of animal health care in the country will grow to international levels. He, however, admits there is a lot to be done and he is willing to go the extra mile. Nonetheless, Dr. Gitari is encouraged that through the years, Kenyans are growing to appreciate their pets every day. We have many clients who are very passionate about the animals and they want to know what is going on in the animals. So uh, it's, it's something that is changing. This is Abby Rose. She's just been treated by Dr. Gitari. She's about two years old. And definitely such a profession would require such passion and will to tenderly take care of animals such as these. She's still sedated for now, but in not too long, she'll be okay. Mel Miendo, NTV.